I'm Soledad O'Brien. Welcome to Matter of Fact. It's Veterans Day weekend and a chance to focus on some of the bravest among us. The Medal of Honor is the highest award that can be given to a military hero in this country. It's bestowed by the president on behalf of Congress following an extraordinary act of bravery. It's an honor reserved for those who risk their own lives above and beyond the call of duty in action against an enemy. More than just another accolade, it advances careers, it provides a lifetime stipend, and it allows the children of honorees a smooth path into the military academies. For those honored, it makes a world of difference. Today, the stories of two heroes, Colonel Harvey Barnum, whose career skyrocketed after he received his medal, and Staff Sergeant Melvin Morris, a hero whose honor was delayed for decades. At Seymour Middle School in Knoxville, Tennessee, they're greeted like heroes come home from the war. 50 years and 10,000 miles from Vietnam, two of America's bravest soldiers are making one of their many stops to speak about the value of education, service, and patriotism. These two war heroes had lived vastly different lives. Both are veterans of the war in Vietnam. Harvey Barney Barnum received the Medal of Honor in 1967 at age 26, and it transformed his life. It would be naive to believe it didn't. You're in the spotlight, 24-7. So after I got decorated, it wasn't Captain Barnum, it was Captain Barnum, that guy's got the medal, Major Barnum, Lieutenant Colonel, Colonel. So you're on a pedestal, and you're in view. Ki Phu, Republic of Vietnam, December 18, 1965. In the midst of the enemy's heavy onslaught, Lieutenant Barnum reorganized his troops and led a counterattack. He directed rescue helicopters to evacuate the dead and wounded. I told her we're going to go out squat at a time, 13 men at a time. And when I say go, you run as fast as you can towards the village. And, and you don't stop. The only time you stop is if a Marine gets shot and falls down, you stop and you pick him up because you don't leave anybody on the battlefield. Well, uh, we made it out. And I was the last one out. And uh, the greatest thing I ever heard is the gun, he says, all accounted for. So. Um, and what went through your mind when you heard that, all accounted for? I, How many people did you get out? Well, I saved about 130. And, and um, that's, that's more reward than this. The President of the United States, in the name of the Congress, takes pleasure in presenting the Medal of Honor to First Lieutenant, now Captain Harvey C. Barnum, Jr. For saving the lives of many on that December day in 1965, Barnum received the Medal of Honor in February 1967. In his case, it took just 14 months. When you look back at your career and all the tremendous opportunities you've had, how do you feel about it? I, I feel blessed. I really do. Why do you think some people did not get their medal, who we look back at now and think they clearly deserved yeah. it? I can see that bias, personal bias. And you know, when we're dealing with individuals who make decisions, we're dealing with imperfection. And as a result, the right thing sometimes is not done. Do you think it matters to set history straight? Without our history, what are we? I mean, we are what those who have gone before us have done. So they say if you don't recognize the heroes who have kept freedom free, then shame on you. <laughs> 